Yo, what's going on? Dave with Diversity Print. Just to show you something real quick, because I've seen some people ask in the past, kind of like when I first got this, and even recently. Um, this is the Epson F570. There's the F570 there. So I've had people, or I've seen people, not had people ask, but I've seen people ask, what is this? Has people used it? Some people use it. I use it sometimes. Uh, you know, sometimes if I'm printing like five test sheets or whatever, even using the catch tray, sometimes they just fall out, they just go to the side. So I wish this was a little bit wider, at least, especially for the 11 by 17s. Uh, you won't be using this for the 13 by 19s because that will be the single, uh, the single sheet, not the auto uh, sheet feeder. And that only goes to 11 uh, by 17. Uh, so anyway, uh, you will have two notches here and then you have a this piece right here okay which actually is raised up and so you will have a piece that goes slides right inside there and that is this black piece right here that comes out alright so you have the two holes which there's one right here and there's one right there and then you have the little black piece coming out and so that slides right in here so as long as you get this started first then the other two will go in place you'll see a little tab right here okay whenever this goes to the back inside if you get a flashlight and look in there I'll try and get a picture but it's kind of hard to get light in there uh, you'll see a little lever and so whenever this thing goes across it, it'll pick that lever up and uh, that will let the printer know uh, or the software know that the paper tray is still in there. So say like you're going to, you're going from the auto sheet feeder and you remove your paper or you close the, the auto sheet feeder up and then you want to put a roll in there. Uh, as soon as you open the roll cover, uh, at some point you're going to get a message saying to remove the auto sheet feeder tray and uh, it's, it's letting you know that you need to remove this so you can start doing the rolls so anyway let's go ahead and line get this little black piece and let's slide it in and let's slide it into here right okay and let's get that started so all you have to do is go straight don't do it at an angle don't do it this way just go straight in and then just do a nice little push that's it you can hold the printer from sliding back just hold it that's how it looks all right and then to remove it you just pull it out hold the printer use one hand and pull it out all right so as long as you get that little black piece into the into this little compartment right here again just get that in there started and boom you're good to go all right remove it out go put it back where you need to put it you see I do not like that it, it keeps it right at the exit and it doesn't push it out. If you can see right here, there is a lip or a drop right here. It would be nice to have the paper fall down so that the other paper can come and slide right over it. So I guarantee you, well, I'll take it back. Of every single time that this has happened, that next print is actually pushing this paper off a little bit and finally it will catch up but now that I'm taking a video this is actually went right on top but it's not 100% perfect and I think that's why a lot of people don't like using this I see a lot of people say I just let it hit the floor uh, I don't like to do that but but I get why some people get aggravated with this tray but it's because the paper stays right at the exit and it doesn't push it off like the 1400 and 1430 
that actually pushes it off and it goes uh, it gets pushed off of the ledge and goes down and the next sheet that comes out goes right on top so let's see I got three prints coming out let me see the third one if it's gonna go over this second print or if it's gonna go if it's gonna push it out what it's gonna do Wow, and it's actually going over. Maybe I need to record every time I print because <laughs> every single time that second and third print, it's like that coin game where you push the coin in and it goes down and it pushes the coins over the ledge. That's exactly what this does when it prints on this, uh, this tray. But these prints did fine. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll catch it next time. Hopefully this helped out. If it did, uh, give it a like and uh, yeah, share it with whoever you might think uh, can use it. Peace.